do think we have to be sympathetic to to what happened to him last week. We all only have one mother, and um, and uh, having been through something similar, as so many people do. Um, Bless it, you. It, it's it's pretty, uh, you know, it it, it it hits you like a train when it happens. So the idea that he can be, um, that he can just simply shake that off and continue is, I think, unrealistic. Um, and um, it's it's a tricky one. It, it, it's clearly there that there are problems, and there were a lot of rumours over the weekend. I was actually messaging. <laughs> Matt McCann at Liverpool at about 20 past 11 last night because th- 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 these rumours weren't going away that he was looking to take a break and um, and bless him, Matt responded very quickly and told me it was absolute nonsense um, but you know, we, we got a call and you just have to, sometimes however unearthly an hour it is, you have to react to these things um, and um, <clears throat> you know he, he Jürgen has dealt with that today he said he's fine and he will continue and I, I think... There are some, you know, rather sad echoes with what happened to Pep Guardiola last season. He had the same thing with losing a parent during the season. Yeah. Had, um, and, and again, couldn't be there because of the pandemic. And and was also going through a difficult period with his team. And what we've seen, certainly what we've seen the last few months, is the measure of Pep Guardiola because he has rebuilt them and they're now the best team in the country and one of the best teams in Europe again. Um this is just a difficult spell. I am I am convinced that Allison will be back, Klopp will be back, Liverpool will be back. It might just take a bit of a reshuffle in the summer, a couple of signings, clearly key players missing, um, you know, and I think that will get on to Allison, but I think there's reasons why it's yeah. all going a bit wrong. But Man City have kept it up pretty well, really. You might say they had a little drop-off last year, but it wasn't that dramatic. Um, we keep hearing about, you know, oh, well, Liverpool lost Virgil van Dijk. Oh, and a few other defenders as well. But then, as Leicester pointed out, Jamie Vardy's been injured. Man City were operating without Sergio Aguero. It's all part of the game, isn't yeah, it? But when uh, Liverpool are using that quite often as the as the excuse, then you have to take into account what is happening with other teams. And everybody mm-hmm. has been afflicted by losing some of their star players. So I don't think... You know, if you're a club like Liverpool with a strong with a strong squad, having spent a lot of money, I accept that they've lost quite a few defenders. I do I do thoroughly understand that. Yeah. It is true, and I think people are getting a little bit we- weary of Liverpool's excuses in that regard. It, the, the feeling is, you know, get on with it. Uh, it is a difficult season for for everybody for all for all clubs, and uh, that's just life. And they've still got plenty of good players, but apparently, when they take one of their midfielders out and play them at centre half. Then they're, they're lost as well. Even though that midfielder who's playing centre half is playing very, very well, they apparently don't have a midfielder who can go in there and do a similar job. I think they do actually. I think they do have players with that quality. And I wonder if it's getting into the psyche saying, "Oh, we can't cope without Virgil van Dijk. No Virgil van Dijk, so this is going to be a really d- impossible season now." I don't. I, I think there's a bit of a negativity in in that regard. But I think Klopp. I think Klopp sounded like a man with a mind to get them out of it today. To 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 look forward, to try and be positive. I think he needs to build them up in a big way for this Leipzig game because that is their season now. The, the Leipzig game is so big is so big for them. 